Well, you know, people are looking for Russians, but what we had is a real Jim Crow election. Uh, Trump, for example, in Michigan won by less than 11,000 votes. It looks like we had about 55,000 uh, voters, mostly minorities, removed by this racist system called cross-check. Uh, in addition, uh, you had a stoppage. Even before the courts ordered the complete stop of the vote in Michigan, you had the uh, Republican state officials uh, completely sabotage the recount. They said in Detroit, where there were 75,335 supposedly blank ballots for president, 75,000, they said, you can't count 59 percent of the precincts where most of the votes were missing. There were 87 machines in Detroit that were that didn't function. They were supposed to count about 1,000 ballots each. You're talking about a massive blockade of the black vote in Detroit and Flint, enough votes, undoubtedly, to overturn that election. And you saw a, a, a mirror of this in Wisconsin, where, for example, uh, there were many, many votes, thousands of votes lost in the Milwaukee area, another African-American uh, heavy area. And, uh, and there, instead of allowing that eyeball count of the votes that are supposedly blank, is it, oh, we'll just run them back through the machines. It's like betting on an instant replay. It's the same game. They just put them through the bad machines again. This is not just bad uh, um, uh, way to count the ballots. It's a way to not count African-American ballots. And I want to emphasize that, Amy, which is that when we use the term recount, we're actually talking about ballots that were never counted in the first place, way over 75,000 in Michigan. There are enough ballots uncounted that if you looked at them with the human eye, because the machines, these are terrible machines which can't read your little bubble marks next to the candidate's name on a piece of paper, if the human eye looks at these things, it's easy to tell that someone voted for a presidential candidate. A lot of the machines said that they voted for two candidates. Not many people do that. Um, the human eye could do that. But the question is, where are these ballots not counted? They are not counted in African-American areas, in Dearborn, where there's a, a heavy Arab-American uh, community, uh, in Latino communities. So while we're discussing hacking the machines, a lot of this was old-fashioned Jim Crow tactics, um, you know, from, from way back. And by the way, a lot of this is the result of the destruction and the gutting of the uh, 1965 Voting Rights Act, which this is the first election post the Voting Rights Act. So we saw, and Jill Stein said it correct, uh, she expected to see a lot of hacking. What she found was, as she said, a Jim Crow election.